Before you start to assemble super shelf short or long span shelving, it's best to check that you have everything you need. In the kit of parts, you should have these items. Two pre-assembled frames, eight beams to support the shelves if yours is a four shelf kit, or 12 if you have a six shelf kit, 16 or 24 beam clips, a number of metal shelf panels, the longer the span, the greater the number of panels needed to make up each shelf. You'll also have protective plastic top caps for the end of the two frames. We also recommend a rubber-faced mallet to help with the bedding in of beams and clips during assembly. A pair of safety gloves and, if you are assembling a unit higher than 2 metres, a small pair of steps. With the components in easy reach, stand one frame on end with the metal foot plate at the bottom. Then connect two beams to the base of the first frame. The top side of the beam is easily recognisable. It has a long groove. And the end of each beam simply slots into the frame like this. It may help to hold the beam and frame together with thumb and forefinger whilst pushing down on the beam. Once the first two beam ends are in place, hold the other frame in position whilst the unconnected beam ends are also slotted in place. This enables the frame to stand unsupported. Next, having decided where you would like the top shelf, fix half the remaining beams you received at the back of the unit. These should be arranged at the intervals you require. They don't have to be spaced evenly, but for safety and rigidity, you should ensure the bottom shelf is no more than 700 millimetres from the floor, and subsequent gaps between supports are no more than 500 millimetres. Then, at the same height as each back support, place and fix the front supports. Once the beams are in position, the ends of each beam need to be clipped in place, like this. Next, fit the shelf panels you ordered over their support beams like this, the number required depending on the width you ordered. Finally, place the top caps over each frame. If you have ordered an add-on bay or bays, you'll have the same kit components as you've just assembled, but with a single additional frame for each add-on bay. Follow the same steps to join the additional bottom beams onto one side of the completed bay. Add the third frame and complete the beam and shelf additions in the same order as before, until the double bay or each additional bay has been firmly assembled. As you see here, you don't need to have the shelves at the same heights on both units. If you've chosen the modular containers as an option, the back beam of any pair needs to be fitted two lugs higher than the front beam, as in this example. The individual containers then need to be inserted, overlapping them as you build up the row. Finally, the dividers are slotted into position on the containers to create the separate spaces you need.